Hello everybody. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Today is almost a full face and eyes of Pixie. You heard it right. Pixie. The brand that everybody has but nobody uses. <laughs> and it's nice. I, I, I get why they keep it, I just don't get why they don't use it and never talk about it. So, let's get going. Hello. Okay, today is all about, let me see if I can lift it all up for you, because when I went to the drugstore yesterday, There's a winner's right beside it. <laughs> Stays all about Pixie. <laughs> Fortunately, I had a um, gift card because I returned something and took the wrong receipt, so they put it on a gift card. But be that as it may, Pixie has become exponentially expensive at the drugstore. Um, some of the prices. An eyeliner is $20. Are you kidding me? I didn't go online to check how much they are at the drugstore because I can just imagine the eyeshadow palette being $34 and I paid $13 for it. So as I open a plethora of things, I shall mention a couple of things. I watched Melissa Nadeline uh, this morning. Love her. I'll try to remember to put her channel on. I'm taking better notes now when I'm um, uh, editing my videos so that hopefully I can follow them properly. <laughs> so hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll put her channel down. But I saw this palette and it's beautiful and the only other person I've ever seen speak about Pixie is Jen Phelps and a lot of people love the uh, highlighter duo especially Kelly Gooch who uses it often in her Shop My Stash but nobody else talks about it. And I see a lot of people doing unboxings and Pixie is there. So Pixie, come on, send me stuff. I'll talk about you just like I'm doing now. Because <laughs> I've had a couple of Pixie products and I just neglected them over other things. And that's my fault. And uh, I did, yeah, I've had this before but I gave it away so I have it again I'm glad about this I'm, I'm thrilled I'm thrilled and uh, I wanted to check this out because Flower Beauty and Nabla have stuff like this as well and as you can tell, I've gone from one topic to another and forgot about the first topic that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> Come on. Oh, brilliant. They put the price tag on top of the actual product. I don't like that. I don't like price tags on stuff. I'm always taking them off. Okay, so because I watched Melissa Nadeline, who um, was doing a video that was inspired by uh, 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 Samantha March using your oldest products and that reminded me what the bleep oh that reminded me about a product that I had set aside and uh, stopped using and I'm like 
please tell me it's not bad, please tell me it's not bad. And that is my healthy mix from Bourgeois. So I put it on today instead of my number seven. And I've got, oh, this, this waxy crap is driving me crazy. It's all over my eyebrows and it keeps falling. So I smelt it. It's okay, because <laughs> I've got another bottle of this stuff and I love it. But, and, and my, I think it looks great. Y you'll have to tell me what, you'll have to tell me what you think if it looks good. But I don't think it looks as good as the number seven. But it looks good. So I can't waste this stuff because I can't get it here anymore. I know they sell it on Amazon, but it, they'll probably charge an arm and a leg because Amazon, sometimes, like, for example, my scalp scrub. They had two of them. I think one was 28 from one seller and the other seller was 10. Now my seller has it on for almost $50. It's been two, three months maybe since I bought it. Like, are you kidding me? That that's the, yeah. So, and I've got a fair few foundations and I can't buy foundation. There's only one I really want and that's the Luminous Silk from Armani and I just want the half bottle but even then <laughs> okay so I finally opened it they are beautiful they are absolutely absolutely gorgeous okay now I've got eyeliners my hair is a mess yes it was in a braid I tried to do something with it to get it out of my way for now and we'll see what happens later this is in opal there we go because I've only got the minis I, I managed at one point to oh this is very creamy okay I pushed too hard <laughs> that is very very pretty okay yeah that's uh, very creamy the other one I have is matte nude oh this is perfect because my essence one has got to be at least four or five years old so that <laughs> and since i haven't done it in a long time but since i usually put it on my inner lash line it might be a good idea to switch it up and this one is creamier let me just check yeah, I had to push a little bit harder on this one, but there is the Pixie and there is the Essence. I mean, they're both great, don't get me wrong, they really are, but we shall see. And then this one is in Matte Mulberry. Look at how far down the tip is. <laughs> it, it's, it's hiding, it, it's doing a gopher. This is very creamy as well. I might actually be able to put it on the top lash line. Look at that. But I'll have to sharpen it. Doesn't seem to be a sharpener at the bottom. Okay. So there we go for these. But that's not all. I also got Liquid Fairy Lights in Rose Gold. Oh, I've wanted a liquid shadow for a long time, but they, they're asking like $30 for this. Sorry, 26 Same diff. Okay, so this is a topper. Yeah, fairy lights make sense. Look at how beautiful that topper is. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Again, where am I going to put this? I want to... I don't remember how much the Stila is, but I think it's about $30 for the Stila. Okay, the Stila has more base to it. The Glisten and Glow. So that's the Stila and that's the Pixie. 
yeah. Okay, steal it. Good thing I only paid eight dollars for this, but still, it's a nice topper. And one last thing, and I don't need my knife anymore. The last thing is a liquid lip. I had one and didn't use it, and I believe I got rid of it. I don't even remember that. That's pretty sad. <laughs> so, did I say the color? Really rose. They, I got lucky this was the last one of this color because all the others were just very dark berries. Yeah, that's a beautiful color. Very pretty color. Okay. So that goes there. That can go there. Oh. And I'm wearing my ZC concealer. It's looking good. <laughs> and let me know as well about the redness on my nasal labial folds area. Don't don't worry about the nose because that's where my glasses go. Because I used this again today. I only put it around here and a teeny tiny bit on my chin. And uh, hopefully it has taken down the uh, redness a tiny bit. What, um, I'm trying to see if this is medium coverage. I can't remember. It doesn't say, just says 16 hours with a vitamin mix. I know that the vitamin C is, 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 uh, dormant now or deactivated because vitamin C doesn't last very long but uh, 16 hours pretty good but I think it's medium to full coverage honestly that's my impression okay and it's a beautiful pink such a beautiful pink okay I'm shaking today guys just bear with me. I'm 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 in shake mode. Can you can I can't get the light in it. Okay, when I do the swatches for the eyeshadows, I'll try and give you better swatches of, of this, but it's beautiful. Oh, okay. I was going to put it away. <laughs> okay. Powder. It's nice. It's not in your face. It's nice and delicate. line of demarcation there. Got to get rid of that. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm happy. Let's see if the blush is just as delicate. The problem I have with Pixie is their prices. Um, that's why I haven't bought anything because at that price I'll just go to Sephora and get something high end. I mean, granted, Pixie is a good brand technically to use, but the prices are outrageous. They are outrageous. I'm not putting the glitter glitter on. I'm putting the shimmer on. Because this gold one is way too glittery. and So I'm putting this one. And I think this one is in the duo 
I'm not sure. Because the duo has a pink and a champagne. They didn't have it at Winners. I would have gotten it. <laughs> that is beautiful. Okay, I do not remember ever having tried the uh, eyeshadows from Pixie. I don't remember having tried the, any of these. And I also know that Jen Phelps loves the big palette, which is eyes and lips. She uses that occasionally, but we don't get anything here in Canada. We just don't. We just we just friggin' don't. Okay, the names are on the back. I'm not gonna keep flipping over. Not gonna happen. When I do the swatches, I will name them off for you. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I'll remember to do that. I forgot to do this yesterday. And my eyeshadow three hours in did not look good. So, okay, speaking of base, it's crumbling. Okay, what am I going to do? I need to swatch some of the shimmers because I have no idea what they actually look like. They really do not look like they do in the pans. I mean, look at that. They all look dark in the pans, but they're so different here. Let's take this cream one and just set everything. And get rid of some of these little wax pellets at the same time. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for it to be finished. I'm I'm just plugging on through. I'm putting up with it because I want to finish it. <laughs> Stupid eyebrow pencil. And I only have one other eyebrow pencil in my collection right now and that is a brow power from It Cosmetics. Okay, the next one I'm going to take I'm going to try this taupe. We shall see what it gives me. Because I, I haven't even... What else is new? Okay, very powdery. A lot of kick up. I don't know if you can see the puffs. <laughs> I'm not smoking honest. <laughs> Um, this is, this is very beige. I guess we could call it khaki. Okay, I'm glad I didn't spend the $34 for a palette, but it's not that bad. Just, it's not worth $34. No bleeping way. No. No, 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 no. Okay, so the first color. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. Lisa J, I listen to you. I'm not tapping my brushes on anything hard, just my finger. Okay, let's 
let's let's do something. Let's do that second and do another pass. I like that. I do, I do, I do. Okay, so what am I going to do now? Yeah, I'm going to do this one. Let's see. They all look like they're the same color, but they are so different. I mean, look at that. Let's see if this does anything. It's a little bit creamy. It's a little bit, little bit creamy. And there's no kick up on the shimmers. I think I'm going to have to... Mm. See, it's hard to figure out which is which because... They don't look like they swatch. There's not enough shimmer. I was thinking of using the uh, highlight to do my brow bone, but the highlight, I don't know, I think it's a little too pink, if that makes any sense. And everything here is a lot more champagne. Let's try this. Speaking of pink. Yeah. Okay, let's get that little chunk out. No. No, doesn't go in the waterline. Okay, so what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I am going to take my little smoky one. more of a steel blue It's hard to put eyeliner on on wet skin. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to fight with the liner any more than that. I didn't get any fallout, which is kind of surprising. I got to tell you, it's kind of surprising. I am actually thinking that's pure glitter. <laughs> no, I need a glitter glue. Okay. Another time. So what am I doing next? I am Tidying up, I shall return. 
Okay, let's give this a try now. I'm, I'm stuck in a corner and I can't move. So, we've got the palette and we've got sheer sand, metal mauve, I hope you guys can see that properly, petal, antique rose, which is a little crumbly, rosy clay, metallic rose, deep taupe, Foiled bronze, soft brown, sorry about the shakes guys, chocolate brown, cocoa summer, and bronze gleam. You can't see the shimmer here, but this has a very slight shimmer. Sorry, I'm trying not to shake. And these colors are actually, the shimmers are very creamy in the pan. Very creamy in the pan. The only ones that are crumbly are the mattes, but the shimmers are nice. Very, very nice. So hopefully you get a better look this time around at these beautiful eyeshadows. Okay. <laughs> Just perfect. There we go. Just perfect. I've only got an inch left. So next time I go to the pharmacy to pick up some medication, I'm going to have to pick up another one of these. $3.99? Yeah. Worth to have a backup. Definitely. Um... I'm so happy to have it and it's going to stay out here. Yes. I have to try this. I have to put some glitter glue and try this. Um, how can I say this? The mattes are exceptionally powdery and I like the fact that you need to build it up because Pigments I can't work with. I I find it so weird that the color you see is not the color you get. <laughs> so when I do the swatches, you'll understand. It's like <laughs> I mean, look, I'll have to try and it's 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 it's, it's insane. It's in insanity. These are not these. They're just they're just not. They're just <laughs> can't figure that one out. <laughs> so I love the shimmers. I really do. I love this side of the liner that I did. This side don't even look. My eye is watering like a faucet. Um Actually, I should have tried to see if this nude one actually goes into the... Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Not the best liner for a smoky look, but it works! <laughs> I'll put that there because it works. Uh, I have to figure out a way to try this. And this. So on on. Yeah, I couldn't have put it on today because my I I would have to have a dark. Uh, shimmer on my eyes to put this one so it can, it is visible, and this one light. Okay, we've got that. So so far I do like it. I'm just not used to the powdery stuff anymore because I've been between my my cream shadows and the creamy powders cream to powder stuff that I've been using it's it's really weird so really rose is 
a beautiful, beautiful color. Let's see how it translates on these lips. We'll see how long it takes to dry down. It's got an odd minty smell, but that's the thing. When I see people declutter stuff, anything, even lip products, better take my elbows off the table because it shakes. A lot of people keep their pixie products, but nobody uses them. Why? I want to see you use them other than Jen. Like, Jen goes through her stuff. She doesn't need to do a shot my stash. <laughs> she goes through her stuff. And uh, I want to know why we don't see people use their Pixie products if they have them. I would love to get my hands on some of the Pixie skincare. But at that price, I'm sticking to my Pyongyang Yule. You know, uh, I'm, I'm good with my K-Beauty snail mucin. I love it. And look at my eyes. I just... Oh, good grief. These crinkles. I don't know. Maybe, maybe my skincare is finally getting in there. Uh, I'm using Alginist eye cream and another... I can't remember the name of it, another uh, eye, eye serum, and they feel really good, and it takes an hour for each layer, or half an hour maybe, for each each layer, the, the, the serum and then the, the cream to get absorbed properly, and by the end of the night, my eyes are not dry. It's like, okay, I'm good with that. Because before, it, an hour, two hours, maybe three, my under eyes would feel dry again. After I'd put on all my lotions and potions. And yeah, that's not good. <laughs> no, that's not good. So I'm, I'm happy with what I'm doing so far. Um, I am liking this look. I am really, really liking this look. And all I'm thinking about right now is I want to put more creams on. <laughs> but I love the powders. I really love the powders. Please help me understand why people are not using their Pixie products, but they keep them. They keep their Pixie products. I even saw Leora today put away one of her Pixie palettes. This one. <laughs> so that's my rant and hopefully I'll find a spot to put my swatches in or have put my swatches in a spot. <laughs> I just got to do it now. <laughs> I'm learning, I'm learning, a little bit at a time. This brain only takes a little bit at a time. So thank you everybody once again for coming to visit with me. Please leave me a comment, like my video, and subscribe to my channel. A bientôt.